there's the tree. And he reaches for our door handle and he like shakes it like he's trying to open the door. Taylor Swift sugar cookie. Aaron did get into a car accident. He definitely might be going overboard. <laughs> I am so incredibly stupid. I was sitting at the dining room table being a productive girly. I get this notification on my watch from our ring and it's like the motion activation and I can't see the face of the person that's at our door because their head is down but they're like standing in front and they do like this. That's like a little bit weird. I didn't really know what they were doing. In my head, I was like, well, this must be one of our neighbors and maybe they're trying to tell us that we have a package, but they don't want to actually talk to us. So they're just trying to trigger the ring so that we'll go and look outside. So I walk outside, open the door. Nobody's there. There's not a person there. There's not a package there. And I close the door and I lock it. And as soon as I lock it, I hear a noise. I look through the peephole and there's a guy standing there, the same guy, still can't see his face. And he reaches for our door handle and he like shakes it. Like he's trying to open the door. And then immediately when the door doesn't open, and he knocks but I still cannot see his face and I'm freaking out oh my god like someone's trying to get in and he's knocking and now he's waiting at the door because I'm assuming he heard me open it so he knows that somebody's home Aaron is in a work meeting in his office and he's talking actively with somebody so I can't just go in and interrupt him so I'm texting Aaron I'm like oh my god someone's at the door they just tried to get in and then they knocked whenever they couldn't get in because the door was locked and I'm freaking out because they're trying to get in and I don't know if I should open the door because why would they break in if they knew somebody was home Girl. No. So I'm going through this crisis in my head thinking that someone is trying to take me but I don't want to bother Aaron. Literally, I kid you not, less than five seconds later, Aaron comes out of his office and he's like giggling to himself and he opens the door and it's his friend. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate <laughs> And Aaron had literally told me 30 minutes before that his friend was coming over and that I should expect it because he's going to be in a meeting. And I remember him telling me this but sometime between him telling me that his friend was coming over and his friend actually being there, it just blanked from my mind. He was waving his hand in front of the camera to get our attention because he knows that our dog barks whenever someone knocks on the door or rings the ring doorbell. And while he was waiting, he had just like walked to look off of like our balcony area. And so when I opened the door, I didn't see him. He tried to run back and come in before I locked it, but I thought he was a stranger trying to break in. So bit of a dumb moment, but I'm glad it wasn't someone actually trying to break in. But other than that scary moment, happy Vlogmas. This will be my first vlogmas and I was really struggling. I couldn't decide if I even wanted to participate. Typically vlogmas is you're recording every day, you're uploading every day, but for me personally that sounds so intimidating. So I decided to do a compromise. So for this year I'm doing vlogmas but I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs. I'm still filming every day but I'll be uploading the vlog once a week. And of course this is all just leading up until Christmas so instead of replacing my weekly videos with vlogmas I'm going to be uploading two videos every week. One will be my normal video schedule and the other will be my vlogmas schedule. So I'm super excited to kind of challenge myself to film every day. We're gonna see how this, how this month goes. but I decided on this a turtleneck sweater dress I think it looks fine I'm gonna put some pantyhose on because I have not shaved my legs and it'll be okay we're gonna be fine are you sure about that but I want to try to curl my hair really quick I'm gonna keep it in this ponytail wish me luck I only have 15 minutes <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just stopped and got some coffee. Well, I didn't get coffee, Aaron got coffee. I got a chai latte. This one is actually, a, what was it called? The Taylor Swift sugar cookie chai latte. It, it was something like that. It's super good. It's their winter seasonal chai. But right now we're headed to my mom's house because when I got my new phone, I did like a trade-in credit. So I essentially got $300 off of my new phone price in exchange for me trading in my old phone. And the box that they want me to ship my old phone got shipped to my mom's house. So I have to go pick it up since I have to ship my old phone out within 30 days to like keep the credit. But that's what we're doing right now. And if you're ever in the central Arkansas area, highly recommend Think Coffee because this is so delicious. Ooh, oh my. Hello. Hello, Miss Girlie. Hello. There's the tree. Oh, it's so pretty. Be putting this up like this was in there this morning. Oh, this is pretty. We got putt clots for the... Uh, well, it looks so good. So Christmassy. <laughs> definitely might be going overboard with all of the frozen stuff that we're buying. <laughs> this is the aftermath of our shopping today. We may have gone a bit overboard. <laughs> with grabbing stuff for our freezer. Literally, look at this. It is as tall as me. I think we're gonna be well stocked. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, so now we stock the freezer. So we recently bought a freezer because next year we're going to do a low spend year. And part of our issue with spending is that we spend so much money on delivery and eating out because there's just a lot of times where neither one of us want to cook, but we don't have a lot of things at home that we can make that don't involve cooking. And a lot of that is because our fridge has a really small freezer. It can't really fit a lot in there. And so most of the stuff we have in there is more related to cooking and not easier meals. We have been wanting to buy easy meals for so long, but we've only just now been able to. And that's why we have this whole tower of food. And yes, I know. It's not the healthiest food, but this isn't stuff we're gonna be eating all the time. It's just to make life easier and to spend less money, so. Kind of season on ice. So. And chili. Hey. 
Because I feel like that's almost like it's on. I wish I could like tell if it was a pound, but for me, this is like very arbitrary. I feel like it's about the weight of that tomato. I don't know. I really don't want to touch the chicken. Beef is okay for some reason. Skin like comes off of it. Hello? It's, so is... cut. it's like I gotta pull it up like painting hose. I mean, it's probably because it was cut right there. No. Oh. Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing is there any? Hey guys, so just an update of how today's going. Erin did get into a car accident earlier, um, probably like two to three hours ago now. I wasn't with him, I was at home. He was on his way to meet with some friends and go bowling and it wasn't his fault, but there's a chance that his car might be totaled. Essentially, he was turning left at a green light and there was a woman coming from the other direction going straight, but she didn't have her headlights on and it was already dark and so he couldn't see her and it wasn't ruled his fault, which is nice. We are waiting on a tow truck still. It took the police about an hour to get to the crash and then another hour or so of us just figuring out logistics and then the other woman's car had to get towed. Police called the tow car for her, but they didn't for Aaron and so we called it after the fact and it's been like a 45 to 90 minute estimate wait and it's already been 90 minutes and they're still not here so we're just chilling waiting in my car um for someone to come and grab his car so definitely a change in plans of what we were expecting the night to be everyone is safe nobody got hurt it's just not a great situation but They never came and they're not wanting to give us a refund even though they're still not coming they essentially told us that they would get here within like 90 minutes and after over 90 minutes they call and say that their driver's not answering and then keep telling us to just keep waiting and so it's been like another 30 to 45 minutes and now Aaron is just trying to get them to like release the money that they've charged him so that we can just either call another company or try to see if we can get the car to drive home. I don't know. It's just, it is almost 10 p.m. and the accident happened at 6.10. So it's been like four hours essentially since the initial accident and two hours of that is us just waiting on the tow truck, so. Final update, hopefully, we ended up having to cancel the original tow truck because they literally just never came. They kept telling us that a driver would be with us and then Hours would go by, still no driver. So we canceled it, but they tried to charge us a service fee of like 20 bucks. And Aaron told them like, no, you haven't, you literally haven't done anything. We've been waiting here for hours when we could have gone to another tow company, but we waited because you already charged our card for like $170. So finally he's arguing with them. I called a different tow company and literally they had a driver free and they're on their way right now, like 10 minutes away. It was just, it's not a good experience, but we just, we really just want to be home. So that's all we care about right now is getting home.
뭐가 괜찮아? 
good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire Which one will it be? You say that one? I'm gonna say middle Middle! I was right I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everything else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I don't know what happened to today where all the time went and spending hours editing week one of Vlogmas and I thought I would be fine. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Just work. Please. It's just gonna be 